they will shout in peach in peach that this shall not happen and then God says highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises and people will become very afraid they'll say we have no protection and then God says am I impressed with your weapons of war am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs ha! I have said I will bring this nation to its knees Right, this video right here is an impressive one and I, I i'll tell you what you know man i'm very skeptical of modern day prophets and i mean no way saying that they don't exist i know the lord is definitely said in the book of acts chapter 2 uh, about verse 17 that he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh let me open it up and he also went on to say that your sons and your daughters will will prophesy so the, the gift of prophecy is that it's not stuck to a particular church, okay? We, we believe that God can move in various ways. He can raise local prophets. He can raise prophets to address nations, even churches. And they've been used in different ways. And I, I mean, no is saying I can confirm the prophecy of these men as whether or not they're true. Kim Clement, definitely the one that you saw at the start of this video. He's an impressive guy. I tell you what, they say some number. I mean, he prophesied a number of things that actually came to pass. Some people are skeptical of his prophecies. I am too, to a degree, but I wouldn't discredit the entire thing. <laughs> and I would say, let's do some little bit more research, do some more digging. But here is the thing. The Bible says, it shall come to pass in the last days, say if the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And he went on to say, on my servant and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall do what? They shall prophesy. So it's not... It's very biblical, it's very common that prophets will rise in these last days and they will speak on behalf of God. While this might be true, at the same time, you also got to be careful, right? You got to be careful with uh, some people who claim to be prophets who may not be. The Bible says, be aware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous rules. So they are false prophets, but thank God, not all of them are false prophets. So they are true and fake and real and honest ones. Jesus says in the last times that there will be many Christ, many false prophets shall rise and show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So we gotta be careful with the false prophets. And at the same time, we must not disregard the true ones. And this video is not to determine whether or not this man is a prophet. All I'm simply saying is what he said here was very particular and very detailed and it came to pass. So is that the way you determine whether Minim is a prophet or not? There's more to the story. Actually, there's about seven different ways you can actually determine whether Minim is a prophet. Prediction is one of them, is one of the top seven, but we're not gonna do that in this video. I have other videos we have done this, but I want you to listen to what he said. And thank you for those of you who shared this with me because this was very insightful. Anyway, Link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Take a listen. Bringing back America. Because the Lord told me, He said, I am not done with America. Amen. He said, there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw, the, I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of times coming back again, but it's rising up. And then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum ear. You, you, you can't miss that. All right, listen again. All throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire and they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation and it was coming, it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America, all throughout. And I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum and I saw you got to pause right here this is this is he he said <laughs> this is actually interesting all right he said there's going to be a rise of patriotism in America by the way that's been going on <laughs> that's been going on in case you haven't been paying attention you don't have to like it you don't have to agree with it i'm just telling you it's happening there's a pushback especially in the light of the woke ideology the woke culture and also um 
with the George Georgification of the country. And after the death of George Floyd, there was a lot of massive protests. And a lot of Americans have actually beginning to say, you know what, you guys are doing too much, right? But let's go back to the prophecy. He said that this bullet is going to hit the right ear and bust up his drum. Look at this. Look what happened. That is spot on. You can't overlook that. Yeah, uh, just one tenth of a second we're talking about. He made this decision to turn his head. Otherwise, he would have been dead. Wow. So, uh, so far, his words are true. But I cannot say for the rest of what he says are true. But that little segment here, man. That is such a close and very fine detailed prophecy. I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum. Mercy. And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, uh, I'm not sure if you noticed this. Uh, there has been a lot of discussions uh, from Trump and many of his supporters as well that after this, you know, bullet that missed him, he's pretty much given his life over to the Lord. He's, um, we knew Trump wasn't a Christian, but he was definitely thinking Christian thoughts. Um, yeah, this is him at the RNC, the Republican National Convention. And this is the day after this happened, I think. Well, no, it was about two days later. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody. Yeah, so... um. Uh, this was something, man. This was something. And the fact he got up and did what he did. Uh, and they said when he was on his knees around this time, there's another picture of him praying. Whether or not Trump is born again, bona fide Christian, there it is. There it is the picture right there. So that's actually after he got on the floor. Some people believe at that moment he was praying. So whether or not this prophecy of this man is true, I cannot affirm and confirm every details. All I'm simply saying is, there was a miracle that happened that day. <laughs> the Lord certainly has done something for Donald Trump. You can't deny that. To deny that, you're not being honest. <laughs> you're not being honest. The man, And again, by the way, this, this was predicted, uh, we're talking about in March 14th. So the man made the prediction a while ago. And the fact it came to pass in a way that it has, that is very impressive, just to say the least. You don't have to agree or disagree with this. Um, you can take a position. Some people really believe this was a divine intervention. I'm of the conviction as well. What's the secret service on this? Inside job? Was the miss intentional? Who's to gain? Who's to lose? Deep state cover. God, God save Trump. Last night, like most of you, I went through a roller coaster of thoughts and emotions. Yeah. So uh, anyway, he went on to prophesy a few things, but I would like to hear from you. I'm not going to make this video any longer than it needs to be. Do you believe? Do you believe that? What happened with Trump has any prof prophetic application significance? I'll be honest with you. I don't think this is the end of the story. I think um, Trump needs to watch it. <laughs> I'm so serious. When I look at this, I'm like, that, 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 that was planned. You don't have to like me or disagree with me. When you look at the story as a whole, the shooter, Thomas Crooks, who he was, where he came from, the fact he was allowed to be on that roof 140 yards away from the president, which is like, on average, if you are two miles away from the president, those roofs had to be cleared. That's how Secret Service is. Anyway, it's like somebody made a major mistake here, a total incompetence. I don't know what it is, or it was a deliberate mistake. It was meant to happen. When you look at it, you can call it conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat. I don't really care. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> There's some things that are here. Very questionable. Very questionable. Um, thank God for his intervention. Thank God that because the world would have been a different place had this been passed away. All I'm looking at is 
in light of the prophecy this man made, that little portion of his prophecy came true. Now, is Trump going to be radicalized and begin to prophesy, become a Christian? I would love to see that, but at the same time, I don't want, how do I say this? I don't want to see a nation being over-spiritualized to the point where they attack freedom of conscience. I have a problem with that, but I do, I do want to see Trump saved. Let's just put it that way. This time frame, I'm talking, people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus, for what I saw coming. And um, then I saw people interceding when he, and I see him, I saw him winning the, the presidency uh, through great. That's very important. So we have two pieces of that prophecy we have to look at for two pieces yet, right? He is going to be born again, and he's going to be prayed for in ways we've never seen before, and he's going to win the presidency. Friends, I mean, if you look at the stats, and I've looked at several polls, Trump is leading is that over 10 points. I don't know if you know what that means. Like, and he always underperforms the polls when you actually, 2016 when he won, they didn't think he was going to win as well as he did, right? So the point of the matter is, Trump's presidency is almost like, how do I say this? It is guaranteed to win at the numbers that he is now. There is no way he could lose unless God says otherwise, unless the enemies of Trump have their way. It looks as though you can be certain this one attempt to take him out is not the last one. I can tell you for certain something else is going to happen. Um, when I look at it, I'm like, that man needs some serious prayer. Um, I don't wish evil on any man. You don't have to like him, but there are some people who obviously don't like Trump. There's a way that I, I understand it. Let me explain to you this quotation. This quotation is going to summarize my thought in one second. There is the way it goes, right? Have you ever heard the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's the way I feel about Trump. That right there, in a nutshell, explains my position, right? Dan Wells said it the best, right? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's the way I feel about him. I feel like Trump is standing against the enemies of my enemies, the enemies of the people, whoever they are, I don't know who they are, you know, we're not a wickedness, in, in high places, right? Uh, unelected bureaucrats or these self-proclaimed saviors of our society. I don't know what you want to call them, but there's obviously a system in place to make sure men like Trump doesn't win. There's a system in place that is terrified of this man. I saw a video the other day that was really very interesting and I had to save it. I'm like, that's, I gotta save this. Are you concerned that Trump might be elected again? I, I think it's very likely. And if it happens, it is likely to be the kind of like the, the death blow to what remains of the global order. You know, this video here is Tucker Carlson. And again, the difference with this one is that he predicted there was going to be an assassination attempt. But the man who said there was going to be a specific way this assassination attempt was going to take place, that's something different. Uh, what Tucker Carlson said is that's the only common thing. That, that's the only thing they could do. If, uh, you know, they protested him. They called him names. He won anyway. They impeached him twice on ridiculous pretenses. They fabricated a lot about what happened on January 6th in order to impeach him again. It didn't work. He came back. Then they indicted him. It didn't work. He became more popular. Then they indicted him three more times. And every single time his popularity rose. So if you begin with criticism, then you go to protest, then you go to impeachment, now you go to indictment, and none of them work. What's next? I mean, let, you know, graph it out, man. We're speeding toward assassination, obviously, and no one will say that. But I don't, I don't know how you can't reach that conclusion. That that is that is uh, yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna link this video in the description so you can check it out. Share your thought with me. Do you believe? What this man is saying is 100% true, or do you believe this was a just a rare prediction? Do you believe he's a true prophet? He's not a true prophet. Do you believe he's just 
you know, he said even a broken clock can be t- can be right twice a day, right? But uh, is that one of those cases? What do you stand? I'm not necessarily sure. At this time, to be honest with you, friends, I'm just asking questions. It does show me that we are living in the end times. Okay, so this one thing is true. Because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many will wax cold. And we are in that time today. And it seems to me more and more people are becoming cold. Uh, they don't seem to care very much for human lives. You may not have to agree with the politics of the man, but wishing death on his life is not a good sign. But much more could be said. Link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Check out our merch. Go to the store. Show us some love that way as well. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.